Hi guys, right, the the wheel from the sidecar is finished. Um, I finished off the painting on it yesterday and I did the, 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 the touching up on the tyres this morning. I've polished up all the centre the hub pieces you can see there. So I'll quickly flip it around and you can see that's the that's the other side of it. There's, all, there's, a, there's a nice little bit of uh, accent copper pieces coming through the paintwork. So I'm quite pleased with that. That actually turned out quite nice. Um, going on to that then will be this disc. Um, that's finished painting now. I finished that about 15 minutes ago. So that's just a matter of waiting for the dry, take the tape off and that's sorted. I've also done the tank, so that's all sorted now, ready to go, all lacquered and everything else, so I'm very pleased with the way that turned out, it's got a kind of a nice patina look about it. So I'll give a quick look around all the rest of it. So that's that done, so I'm starting to sort of uh, make inroads now into the paintwork. So hopefully in the next few days I'll get to the engine and we'll start working on the engine and then we can really make progress, okay? Right, the sidecar has gone out, out the door for now, out of my way. Um, what I'm actually going to concentrate now is on a lot, a lot of the smaller stuff. I'm going to get all that ready for paint. The seat is going out for covering tomorrow, so that'll be out the way. The little box, I'm got, that's, the, that's the strap from the battery box, so I'm going to get the, a little strap made up to match that. So, so the two will be similar. Um, and what I'll do is I'll give him all the bits in relation to the, the seat and the side panels that he'd done before. That way he can sort of match them up, give him a chance to match up the colours properly. Um, also, what I've done this morning is I've gone back on the lid again. Um, so I'm back now to my new uh, mahogany strip again. Now that's all done. Um, all that's left now on this is the gold, uh, the gold pin stripe all the way around. And I can lacquer the whole thing up then and finish it off and that'll be the lid done. So we're getting there. Right, I've started on the on the different components, uh, the painting of them. Um, I'm going to do the same as what I did originally. The They were coated first with under sealer to give them a textured finish. Uh, some have been coated, as you can see here, some have been coated with, uh, with with green over them. Some of them, as you can see by the bit of overspray here, they'll be, they'll be they are coated with red or orange. Um, then they're coated with black again. I'll rub them all down tomorrow and then they will be lacquered to finish um these these guys here they'll be cut later to be adjusted right so they'll be painted afterwards the treaded parts so that's that also what i've done is i have finished finally finished the side of the sidecar that's actually now done finished lacquered the whole lot ready to go on the bike or on the on the sidecar so uh no issues with the lacquer this time it turned out really really well i'm very very happy with it um a little tip for you um when you're dismantling bikes or building a chop or a trike or whatever you're building, there'll be a lot of parts on it that will be very, very similar. And you'll be trying to figure out, like, when you're dismantling them, like, what the hell is this going to... Or how am I going to figure out what's going to be left and what's going to be right and what have you. What I find is a very, very useful way of doing it. Get yourself one of these guys. I only bought this out a little. It cost, I don't know, it's cost 10 or 12 quid or something like that. It's, an, it's one of these uh, engravers. And what you can do is you can actually engrave the part... I don't know if you can see it there on the top of that. One second, I'll come in close and try and focus. There you go. I have a little engraving mark on here. So I know exactly where this part goes. I have another one there. And I find it really, really, very, really, really handy. You won't, you can actually engrave it in such a place as it won't, no, it won't be noticed. And when you go to put them back together, you'll know, that you'll know exactly where everything is. Right, this evening I'm polishing. Um, I'm doing all the copper and the brass. Um, right, what I'm actually doing is I'm not actually polishing it up to a mirror finish. Um, I'm actually giving them good clean up, give them a good polish first, and then scotch brighting them to finish. Uh, no, what I'm using for polish is for the for the sort of the fairly dirty stuff. I'm using autosol. It's a good polish, but the problem with autosol is the slightest bit of rain or whatever it gets, um, you get you're getting all the stains from the water, um, which is only pain in the arse to, to sort of redo again. Um, this is the, this is the stuff that I use. Um, normally that's my normal sort of go-to polish for for alley and for copper and brass it's absolutely brilliant stuff it's also water resistant it lasts for months um as opposed to it only topping up like autosol it doesn't tarnish like autosol um it's a much better quality um quality polish um so that's what i use right what i'm in the process of doing this evening is converting a good chunk of what you see here into what you see here so these are all these, these have all been finished actual paint now so i've got to rub them down now and they'll be all lacquered so that's actually what i'm working on at the moment there's a lot i've done a couple of them there a couple of days ago as you saw in the video but i'm adding the front grill to it now again and the, the, that's the air filter in there they've all got to be rubbed down properly now and lacquered 
Um, there's a couple of other bits and pieces now. Uh, clutch levers there, uh, all the gear change mechanism, that's all there on the in the brackets underneath. Uh, bumper needs to be rubbed down, that's there. So there's quite a lot to be done. There's a lot of the stuff is already painted. Um, I finished this off earlier, but I'm not happy with the way it's turned out. Um, it's not... Um, it's not quite as sort of uh, as good a finish on the spring as I would like. So I'm going to strip that down tomorrow and I'm going to redo it again. Uh, so that's that. But um, the headlight needs to be done. A couple of small bits and pieces there like these little fellas. They need to be cleaned and repainted. Um, nothing major. Um, engine's being done. Not tomorrow night, the night after. We'll get that started and get it primed and get it ready, ready to go. Um, the diff needs to be cleaned. That needs to be done and, and uh, new oil put into it. So that'll be sorted afterwards. Now this lot is all done, finished, ready to go. The cog is missing off of that, but that's in paint at the moment, so that'll be sorted soon. As you can see, the steering assembly is all there. Um, foot pedals are all set up. Um, all the load of polishing on the bottom and this, the air filter assembly is done. So this is what you have now, guys. Right, this is my headlight bucket. Um, I was starting to um, get it prepped for paint this morning and I noticed that the actual... Uh, underneath all the paint it was what looked like brass so I took the the ring off and I cleaned all the ring down and took all the paint off the ring and done a bit of cleaning and a bit of polishing and this is what I was left with the whole sort of no it's got a few dents but as far as I'm concerned this thing has been around the houses it's a hell of a lot older than I am so the dents in the ring can the dents in the ring and the lamp can stay there but my like it came up absolutely fantastic I'm well impressed with that like this light must be I'm I'm conservatively saying sort of made back in the forties, so um that so what I'm at the, doing at the process at the moment is I am putting paint stripper on it, and I'm getting all the as you can see I'm getting all the paint is slowly lifting there I'll clean all that off, and what I'll do then is I'll rub it down and I'll polish it later okay. Hey guys right we're getting there there's another batch in um another batch of painting done okay see you later guys bye bye